Krista Gibson. I'm the host of Keeping It Real, and I'm also the publisher of NewSpiritJournal.com. Both my online publication and these videos are all about making spirituality practical, ways that you can actually use teachings in your daily life to improve your life and that of the whole world. My guest today definitely does that. Her name is Lauren Walker, and she is the founder of Energy Medicine Yoga, and she's written a book by that name. She's been a yoga teacher since the late 1990s, and through the work of Donna Eden, she began to be involved in energy medicine. Now, she has um, written two books, The Energy Medicine Yoga, and then also The Energy Medicine Yoga Prescription, which came out in 2017. So during my interview with her, she's going to tell us how this all came about and what energy medicine yoga is and how it can impact our lives. Now, normally in my shows at Keeping It Real, you'll see video of both myself and my guest. Well, today when I went to record the show, my video recorder that I use for Skype didn't work. And no matter what I did, it wouldn't work. And it still isn't working. So Lauren was very gracious and we went ahead and did the interview with audio only. So you're not going to get to see her live like I got to, uh, but trust me, she is delightful. And the information that she shares is really impactful, as is learning more about what energy medicine yoga is. So let's visit with Lauren and let's see what she can tell us about this particular form of yoga. Hi, Lauren. Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here with you. So tell us all about energy medicine yoga. What is it and how does it work? So energy medicine yoga works with the energy systems of the body integrated into a physical asana yoga practice. So most of you will be familiar with a regular yoga practice, and there's so many different styles mm-hmm. of yoga these days. Right. And in a lot of yoga, we do talk about energy bodies. Um, many of you probably have heard of the chakras. That's the mm-hmm. most familiar one um, that we talk about in, in yoga classes, but that's really only one one of nine systems that we work with Mm. in energy medicine yoga. So the chakras are one of them, the meridians, radiant circuits, some of them you'll never have heard of before because they're really germane to energy medicine and energy medicine yoga. But what we do is we work with all of those energy systems together, just the way your physiological body systems all work together, your bones and your blood and your breath and all of those, your digestive and um, all of those systems work together. It's the same in energy medicine yoga. All of your energy systems work together. So your chakras don't work independently from your meridians. They work together. They feed each other. They work with the Celtic weave, which is kind of the system that unites all of the energy systems. So all of these systems work together. And when your energy is working well and everything is moving in the right direction and in the patterns that are most beneficial for them, then you are better in every aspect of your life. You you can get healthy easier if you've got some kind of challenge going on with you right now, um, body, mind, and spirit, because we are just energy. And so once we get the energy to work for us, everything else works for us. So how does energy medicine yoga differ from standard yoga? I mean, are the poses different? I mean, how is it different? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, a lot of the poses will look very similar, but then we'll do different movements within a standard yoga pose, different holds, different um, massage techniques on the physical body, different um, short flows, different breathing patterns, making sounds. So we work with you know, the goal of energy medicine yoga is to teach you the language of the body. And the body speaks in a very particular language, just like we're speaking in English right now. And maybe some of your listeners speak in other languages, mm-hmm. French or Greek or Spanish or, um, you know, any different language. So the body has its own language and it primarily speaks in pulsations. And so we start to learn what those pulsations mean and where they occur in the body. There's different points all over the body that, that, um, we can kind of tap into those, but the body has, that's just its main 
main language. It has very other, you know, all kinds of different ways that it communicates. And so we share those and you learn what those languages are and how to listen and then how to respond back. So you are in a really deep and intimate dialogue with your physical, um, with your physical body. So I'm curious, what about people who, let's say, have mobility issues or they aren't particularly flexible or they aren't particularly thin? Um, is this accessible to them? Is this something that these people can also do fairly easily? Absolutely. And, you know, that's the one thing I heard for years practicing yoga, even before I was teaching energy medicine yoga. I'm not flexible. I can't do Mm -hmm. yoga. And it's sort of just the opposite. Where you need to be incredibly, incredibly flexible is in your mind. Mm -hmm. But the physical body, um, it it meets you where you are. So wherever you are, um, there are techniques and um, and poses and things that we can do to help facilitate where you want to go. We're actually doing a series of online videos that hopefully will be released by the end of the summer. And some of them will be for chair yoga or mobility issues and things like that, because there's a lot of really powerful things that you can do. Our goal in energy medicine yoga is not to do a one arm handstand. <laughs> That's not the kind of yoga this is at all. It's really about healing and bringing you to the best self that you can be, which for many, many, many of us starts with a really deep acceptance of where we are right now. Mm -hmm. You brought about, you brought up, do you have to be thin? I'm not particularly thin and I'm not particularly flexible. And, you know, in the modern yoga world, you can kind of feel like that's the only people that yoga is for. Exactly. But the truth is that is just such a small, small demographic in the yoga world. World. Yoga is for every body, no matter where you are in your life, in your world. I have one teacher that's training with me, with me right now who's 80 years old, mm-hmm. and she's so excited for this next phase of her life to become an energy medicine yoga teacher. So it really, it's it's for everyone, and it meets you where you are, and it takes you where you want to go. So I'm really curious how, I, I didn't want to ask this question until we had talked a little bit about it. So I'm really curious how you discovered this. I mean, I know that you've taught yoga which I mentioned in our introduction for, for uh, let's see, since 1997. So mm-hmm. how did you, I mean, did you start with standard yoga and you morphed into this? Kind of tell us the journey because it's fascinating. Yeah, it actually is a fascinating journey. So I taught yoga for many years and I loved it. It really transformed my life. And, um, and I also came up uh, against a lot of limitations about where I could go with it. And especially when I started having some traumatic experiences in my life, um, the practices that I was doing were helpful sometimes, but I I wasn't feeling that I, I was moving through these issues. And I actually ended up taking a break for a variety of reasons. I sort of had a, a a year of, um, Uh, kind of a lemony snicket year, an unfortunate series of events that kept (laughs) unfolding. And I lost my yoga studio and I ended up moving out of the United States. And um, I kind of left the yoga world and I stopped teaching and I found Donna Eden. So Mm -hmm. two people in two separate countries in within the same month introduced me to her work. And, um, you know, when you get one of those kind of little angels in your head, you're like, huh, I should listen to this. That's right. Um, So I I got her books and she was teaching a workshop at Omega um, where I'm actually teaching the same exact place almost, you know, to the day years later. Um, and I went to this workshop at Omega, and if you've ever met Donna Eden, you know she is absolutely um, one of the most transformative, generous-hearted, beautiful, powerful people on the planet. And I had that experience with her, and I thought, this is what I need to study. So I dove in and started studying her work exclusively, but I never gave up my personal yoga practice. And so I would be doing energy medicine work, and then I would be doing my yoga practice, and you know, little by little, they started kind of weaving into Mm -hmm. each other. And I thought, well, this is great. This is really helpful for me. And what happened was these uh, traumatic incidences kind of kept occurring as they do in one's life. But the work with Donna combined with the yoga started to actually move me beyond those experiences. And I had tools to utilize that I didn't have before. 
And uh, years later, it was a full seven years that I stopped teaching, and I moved back to the States, and I started teaching again, um, oddly enough, at a military university, which is not the first place you'd think of right. to, uh, <laughs> as a yoga class. And I started to introduce some of these techniques to my students, and I was blown away by the results that they were having um, just increase, uh, decreased stress, increased immune system responses. All of their relationships were getting better. They were finding more time in their day. I mean, these kids were sleeping five or six hours a night and had incredible workloads. And all of a sudden, they were finding spaciousness and ease. Mm -hmm. And um, so I started bringing more and more of these tools in. And I finally wrote it all down and codified it and put it together. And I said, you know, this is something. And I showed it to Don, and she said, yes, this cool. is something. And That's here we are. Very cool. So can you share a story of somebody, especially someone who maybe had some kind of a disease or illness or mobility issue and where they utilized energy medicine yoga and kind of what happened and how long it took? Yeah, so you thing. know, we at, at all of the workshops and training, we always put a miracle board on uh, the wall, and people kind of write down things. And it is incredible to me how many stories I hear all the time about things resolving and um, things changing and transforming in every area of life, from digestive issues to relationship issues and um, everything in between. One of the most powerful ones, and um, so uh, let me just say a caveat before I tell you this story: uh, everything has its own timeline. So, you know, we all want the overnight miracle right. story. And some of us get that. I've had those miracle healings myself. And then I've had other things that take a very long time to resolve. So the body, one of the rules of energy is that there's a hierarchy in the body. And so it takes care. And it's not necessarily your hierarchy, right? So the body has an energetic hierarchy. And it's going to take care of the things that it needs to take care of first. So um, I just want to say that before I share the story, because this healing happened very, very quickly. Um, so I had a student in one of my teacher trainings and she had had cancer. She had had breast cancer and um, they uh, had found um, a, an additional cancer in the lymph nodes in her armpit a couple of years later. And she'd gotten those removed and they um, had nicked some of the nerve, um, the nerves in her arm. And so she'd lost feeling in her entire arm. So she wore those compression sleeves um, mm -hmm. because it was very, uh, it's just sort of a strange sensation of non-sensation in the mm -hmm. arms. And this had been now maybe two or three years. And so that, that's where she was when she came to this training. And um, we started the training. And so now these are four-day trainings that I offer several times a year in different places in the country. And I'm training teachers to teach energy medicine yoga. So you're doing the practices yourself, but you're really learning how to share these practices with others. So it's really not just about like you taking it in and absorbing it. Like, you know, right. like say, if you come to Omega <laughs> retreat, it's all about you. These are people learning to teach this. So she's taking these classes and we're just learning the curriculum. And at the, this is she's telling us this on day four so this is a four-day training so she goes home on the first night and she feels a little bit of something on her arm she has some sensation on her arm and she calls her husband and she says I have this sensation it's really strange I, you know it's probably nothing that happened to me a couple of years ago I had a little sensation I got all excited and then it went away and so I don't want to put anything on it and he said don't, you know don't put anything on it but stay with it just be curious, see what happens. So, okay. So then she comes to the next day of training and she goes home that night and now she's really feeling something. She's feeling sensation in her arm that she hadn't felt before. And she starts, you know, sort of massaging and doing some of the techniques. And, um, again, she doesn't want to get too overwhelmed by this. So she goes to sleep. Then we have the next day of training, the third day of training. So then that night she goes to sleep and in the middle of the night, she feels this, like she has like a rock under her mm. armpit and it wakes her up. And at first she's terrified, of course, because sure. those are the sensations of like, oh my God, I have, you know, another tumor or something like that. What it was, was the blankets were rolled up under her arm and pressing against her arm and she could feel it for the first mm -hmm. time in three years. Mm -hmm. And, um, and she had <laughs> sensation all down her arm. She could feel as she pulled her sleeve on, she could feel it in the shower and she was just blown away and it hasn't gone away since she has gotten sensation wow. back, her nerve endings <laughs> back in her arm. And she's telling us this story and we're all just 
sobbing. I mean, right. it was just so amazing. <laughs> and it happened in in three days wow. um, of doing this work. Your your body wants to heal. It really mm. wants to heal. And when she turned on these energy systems in her body and tapped in, the natural healing ability of her body turned on with it. Wow, that's a great story. And is she still doing well? I mean... She is. She She's continues. in my master program right now. That's awesome. That's a great story. So, you know, you look out at the world right now, it looks like we're in quite a mess. Um, <laughs> how can what you're teaching, how can this help the world? Because, I mean, the world needs help. A lot of people out there in anger and fear and all of these things. So how can what you're teaching, how can energy medicine yoga help the world? I mean, is that like a too big a step to talk about? You know, I, I don't think it is because um, there's a couple of pieces in there to unpack. And the first thing is we are the world. The world is made up of individuals. Every decision is made by an individual somewhere. And then those become um, collective decisions. Maybe they become laws or they become collective patterns of transformation, like movements that we see going on all over the world. And so um, I think it's really important to, for us to, it's not so much just take personal responsibility, which is huge, but there's a piece about educating ourselves and an, a bigger piece, which is where energy medicine yoga comes in, which is about processing our emotions. Mm -hmm. And that is something that is so crucial for us to be doing in this day and age. Uh, I really can't speak enough about it because we were never taught how to deal with our emotions, mm -hmm. whether it's fear or anger or grief or mm -hmm. worry or anxiety, like those are the big five mm -hmm. and we don't have tools to deal with them. Mm -hmm. And so what happens if you don't deal with your anger? Well, we see it. We saw it just recently, and, and and we see people are like are acting out in completely unacceptable and right. and unbelievable ways. Very incredibly destructive, um, and and fear can then make us shrink back and remove ourselves from society and remove ourselves from being active participants in our communities and in our world. And grief can just completely tear us asunder, where we're just we can't even participate in our own lives. Mm -hmm. And so we really need tools to be able to process these emotions because unprocessed emotions are the number one cause of stresses in the body. Mm -hmm. And we all know that stress is the number one cause of disease in the body. So mm -hmm. it just goes right along with it, um, as well as these unprocessed emotions are wreaking havoc on our societies mm -hmm. and our communities in the world. So we really need to learn how to deal with these. And in energy medicine yoga, we have a system that gets right into dealing with these emotions and how to transform them into the positive expression of them. And so mm -hmm. we transform fear into courage mm -hmm. and we transform anger into assertiveness and this isn't very this you know woo woo kind of thing this is it's very concrete steps it's movements it's sounds it's really um it's it's poses and practices that bring this unconscious energy into a transformative experience and and so you really feel the difference of of what's going on in the body and mind and it's incredibly incredibly powerful um i have a woman that uh, works with trauma people in um in the boston area and she she has said that this work has been so powerful for her patients, as well as she is seven months pregnant right now. And she's saying these practices are so powerful for her going on this journey is her first pregnancy mm -hmm. and she's feeling all of these things fear and anxiety and 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 maybe some anger like oh my god what's happening to my body like mm -hmm. all of these things and she has these tools to deal with them so these emotions don't get lodged mm -hmm. in the body right exactly so it all sounds great now somebody wants to learn this what do they do? Tell us about your website. And I know you have some classes coming up. So how can we learn this? Yeah, great. So there's lots of ways, depending on where you are in your journey. I have two books out and you can mm -hmm. find them on Amazon or go ask your local bookseller to carry those. And if you're, a, you know, if you're that kind of a learner reading, um, that's really helpful. They 
they just run the gamut and and teach you all of these techniques. The second book actually comes with an hour of video embedded in it, and so you can watch some of these techniques brought to life if you're more of a visual learner. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of classes on dailyom.com, mm -hmm. and so you can find um, find those and follow along with me to build your own home practice. And if you like to study live, if that's more your thing, and I love our live classes are so much fun. Um, I'll be at Omega um, this uh, this. June, June 14, 15, 16, um, for an introductory class. So really just give you the basics and the tools to take away. And um, it'll, you know, two and a half days or three days will really transform your life. It's mm -hmm. amazing. And if you want to go even deeper, I have a week long class at the Feathered Pipe Ranch in Montana, and we'll be diving deep into the chakras. And this is work mm -hmm. that I've never taught before in a public class. And it's wow. going to be absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're a, a teacher, and you want to learn how to teach these uh, techniques, um, I've got two teacher trainings coming up in Colorado and New Hampshire, and you can find all about those on my website, emyoga.net. So emyoga.net. Well, thank yes. you so very much, and I'll put some links here for people to find things. And I so appreciate you taking the time to talk and visit with us, and thank you for your work in the world. <laughs> Thank you. I really enjoy sharing this as well, and I hope um, I hope that your that your listeners get in touch with us. And you know what I like to say to everybody is, I mean, this work is is huge and deep, and there's so much to it, and it's also incredibly easy, so simple to access, and so simple. There's a few techniques that if you just start to do every day, will transform your life. So so don't don't feel like you've got to have a big wide skill set or knowledge to dive in. Just dive in, and your body will thank you forever. That sounds wonderful. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye now.